Hello everyone, welcome to the Messy Desk. Welcome to another unboxing video or oh, the How I Go Work video. <laughs> okay, so today this is uh, we have a fountain pen unboxing because clearly here it says ink fountain pen and I believe this is the steel foam ink fountain pen that I backed on Kickstarter. So the only way to find out is to open the box. Okay, so here we go. Looks like I had a bunch of add-ons. Indeed, this is the ink fountain pen by Steel Form. And whoa, what's this? I don't even remember what I've bought. Okay, let's see what we have here. So. I have the aluminium fountain pen in green as well as a limited edition. Okay, so this is probably my fourth time buying from Steel Foam. So I backed a couple of their projects previously and I took the time to dig out the pens. The first one that I backed from them was another fountain pen. This is the Osmos fountain pen from Steel Foam and it has a nice satisfying magnetic cap this is the gel pen with the same magnetic cap but you know this time the magnet was not as strong so wasn't as happy with it they also had this uh, ballpoint pen you can see that one i love the color blue and two their product has the same kind of aesthetic Let's see what we get inside the box. Let's start with the green one first. Creativity begins with a pen. And basically this is the... Ooh, okay, so the lip unit is not in there. And there's something that's making a lot of noise, I think. I presume it's the converter. Let's see if we have to find out. Okay, now is this little adapter thing or is it part of the nib unit thing? I'm not sure, we'll find out. I suppose when you screw in the nib unit, this, this thing holds in place together. What I do dislike about them is that it does take a lot of turns to get the body in and out, as you can see. I ordered one converter, could be a problem because it doesn't seem like the pens come with the converter. And this one, woohoo, in bright red. Like, put out red, red, China red. Either way, it's nice and fiery hot. So it says instructions on the bottom side, flip me. Yeah, okay. I think I, I made the mistake of tearing out the paper before. But nope, it's just here at the bottom. Yep, basically this part is to kind of like a flange for you to, to show like converter goes here. That would be this piece over here. It's just that instead of it being in blue, this time it's in black. So this is a bit of a problem because now um one converter short and I need to look for a converter. It uses an international standard converter, so that's not a problem, but I need to dig one out or maybe just take from this pen since I'm not using it at the moment. So there we have it. Still the same. Pretty satisfying, but it is clearly weaker. You see how much force I need to open it here compared to this. It's clearly weaker. Yeah, seems like they updated their design. It's still a nice force, but it's definitely not as strong as this, the original. Meanwhile, I have a whole bunch of nibs. So this is a black nib. This is a box nib. So I suppose I got a black to go with the red. You know, as usual, quick Kickstarter projects. I backed this really long ago. 
This is a steel F nib. How come I don't see the size written on the nib? So I guess it's important not to mix up or if not I have a bit of a trouble figuring it out. This is a, the M. Okay, again, I'm not seeing the size written anywhere. Either that or I'm just blind. Okay, this is a titanium nib. Which size did I get? I got an M titanium nib. This is smaller? Okay, no. It's just an illusion. So it's the same size. I see something. Okay, no, it just says dot titan titan at the bottom. So short for titanium. It was from backing these either steel form or Namisu pens that I first got to try the titanium nibs and I really do love them. They are springy. They're, they're not exactly flex nibs because they're not meant to be flex but they're quite springy. You can get a bit of line variation with them and I love the writing with them so got a couple of other titanium nibs ever since. This is also an M nib so now I'm confused I'm not sure why I got so many <laughs> of the same. This is a B nib so I guess I can switch out either for uh, M nib or B nib when I feel like it. These are the pens I got. It comes with two little sleeves that I would definitely not be using because most of the time my pens stay at home on my desk and if I do go out I bring them in a pen case like a five pen case or three pen case or something. Okay so let's decide which nib goes into which pen and assemble it. Pretty sure I got a black for the sake of going with the red. I think it looks pretty cool that way. Let's put it in. Just screwing it on here. Thing ready on? No, you need you need this piece to actually secure it. There we go. And then uh, the cover. So I have no idea what this thing is for. Doesn't look like anything. Then clearly I'm missing one converter. Or rather I neglected to order one more. Let's assemble the green pen. So I think that I'm going to put the titanium nib on. Okay, so I looked in my wonderful cupboard of eggs. And I found two inks that kind of match the pens. I don't always, it's not like a must for me to color match my inks and the pens, but you know, I, I do have taken a liking to doing so. So if it's possible, I would do that. So this is the Sakura Manyo ink from Sailor. It is actually a very bright kind of light uh, orange. Let's ink it in this red pen anyway. Again, this is the part that I dislike about the pen, is how many turns you need to make to what is it, un screw out the body. What is nice about international converters is that the opening is really small and it's quite easy to get a rather full feel of the converter in one shot. But I still look, like to do this little pushy and whacking thing anyway to make sure that I get like a 100% full feel. Plus, I don't dirty the grip of the pen and I still get to push ink out to the feet. So it's just a personal preference. It does not work as well if your ink level is low because you know the converter is quite short and you can't reach it. So you need something like a pinider, snorkel or similar. Or if not, I would have to dip the whole pen in like this. Like probably a normal human word but this is my personal preference. So one down. This is the Jet Vine from Ink Institute. Love these frosted bottles. They are gorgeous. This is a nice little turquoise blue. So the reason why I don't whack the air out of the converter at this stage is 
because the ink might just fly out from the open converter and basically make a huge mess. So I put it in, wet the air up to the top and then gently screw until you see a little bit of ink come out from the converter. I mean from the feet, fill it up all the way and there you go. Now let's look for some paper. Okay, so here I have the Maruman report pad and let's try out the nib. So as you can see, you can very slightly open the tines a little bit with a titanium nib, but definitely don't go overboard with it because this is really not meant to be a flex nib and you will spray the tines if you go overboard. But very slightly you can see there's a little bit of left and right versus up and down stroke kind of variation. So like here you can get some thinner lines and if you apply a little bit of pressure you can get a little bit of thicker lines. Not much, but a little bit, and it gives a little bit of flexible spring springiness when writing, and that's what I like about it. I've had pretty good experiences with bulk nibs, so again, steel form does not make their own nibs. What I have here are all the bulk nibs, so it's only the body that they designed, and so pretty cool design if you like a magnetic cap and this kind of minimalistic clean look. I personally do quite like it. So in comparison, the steel nib is really pretty darn stiff. The, it's not completely hard, but almost as hard as nails, I would say. Not really getting much flex or, or sp rather spring out of this nib. So that's the difference between the steel nib and the titanium nib and this is the red and the green so the wind ballo edition as well as the aurora green edition of the steel form ink pens so this is in comparison with the their previous cosmos you can see that it's actually slightly slightly bigger but everything else about it is pretty much the same and other than that, not as pleased with the strength of the magnet. It's not as strong as the Cosmos I had before. Definitely takes a lot more force to open it. Okay, so I did notice something that makes the Cosmos different from the ink. I suppose it's probably mentioned in the campaign, but this could explain why the magnet is so different, the, or rather the strength of the magnet is so different between the Cosmos and the ink. So here in the Cosmos, you, if you, you can see, the cap does not automatically line up with the body, whereas with the ink, it lines up. It's very satisfying, but I suppose that also contributes to the slightly weaker close, magnetic closure of the cap. So this lines up very nicely. This is this. It's satisfying in its own way. And this is also observed in this gel pen over here. Satisfying in its own way, but you know, slightly different. I definitely have quite a lot of confidence in steel form delivering their products and finishing the Kickstarter campaigns. And that's it for today's video. Hope you enjoyed it and don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye!